sitting down with Larry Anderson, editor of softsecurity.com and securityinform.com. How are you doing today, Larry? Great. How are you, Cecilia? I'm very good. I'm very good. Um, so obviously, as everyone knows now, the pandemic that's been going on, coronavirus, is well underway. Some industries have fared really badly with job losses, money losses, and of course, overall uncertainty for the future. So what I wanted to talk to you about today, Larry, was what do you think has been the impact of the corona pandemic on the physical security industry? Okay. Um, I, I think, uh, needless to say, it's been a huge disruption. Uh, as as you say, with any other industry, it's, it's pretty much the same. I, I think one of the bigger disruptions for the security market was the uh, cancellation uh, and or postponement of the IC West show in Las Vegas uh, in March. Uh, that shows very important to the U.S. market, and I think um, that cancellation um, was was very troubling to some people. Um, it certainly changed the plan. Um, in addition to that, uh, there's uh, no in-person training going on anymore. Uh, people working from home, meeting on Zoom calls, all of these things um, that are basically our new way of, of working each day. What specific changes would you say you've observed? Well, um, I think there's been a slowing uh, of business at the uh, dealer and installer level. I think that's been documented. And um, of course, there are a lot of specific verticals that are uh, hurting really bad. Uh, uh, one is obviously the hospitality industry, uh, the whole travel industry, uh, the cruise industry may not recover for years. Um, and I think the security uh, sales into those markets will, will be a problem and a challenge. Um, but overall, I'd say security is largely a reflection of the economy as a whole. And it's going to take a while for the economy to recover and get over the disruption to the pur purchasing patterns. And that will impact security. So kind of leading on from that question regarding physical security, would you say that there's been more positive changes, neutral changes or negative changes? Well, I, I don't think there are any changes that are neutral. Uh, <laughs> they're mostly <laughs> either, either uh, on the positive side or the negative side. Uh, we uh, obviously talked about the negatives in terms of, terms of the economy and the challenges and the disruption, but there are some positives as well. Uh, as you mentioned, the, um, the, um, there are new opportunities to apply our industry's technologies. Um, as you mentioned, the body temp temperature cameras, which is basically applying the, the technology of thermal cameras uh, in a new way. Uh, it, it, there is should be awareness that um, uh, there's a lack of um, evaluation going on of those products. And so uh, it's very much currently a situation about of, of buyer beware. But there are other opportunities too where our industry uh, can uh, bring products that will help with the coronavirus. Um, the idea of touchless biometrics, uh, which is almost by definition uh, something that's likely to increase in popularity at a time when we're trying not to touch surfaces. Um, access control can be used to monitor building occupancy to help ensure that there aren't too many people in the building and will therefore be social distancing. Uh, video analytics algorithms, uh, some of the same algorithms we use can be reapplied and used to monitor social distancing and to uh, sound alarms when rules are broken. Uh, there are facial recognition systems that can be adapted to ensure uh, that people are wearing masks. So um, in this day, I mean, a lot of companies are pivoting uh, to adapt their existing solutions to the needs of the pandemic and its aftermath. And I think that's a positive. How do you think this will shape the industry moving forward? Um, I hope we will be able to gather in groups again soon in the near future. And when we do, I expect we will have war stories to tell and some su success stories to share. We may not, we may one day look back on our industry and what it looked like before the pandemic and after the pandemic, much the same way we viewed 9-11 as a turning point that changed mm -hmm. the industry. Um, I wouldn't call it this pandemic good luck in any sense, but the, the needs of the pandemic have definitely played well to our industry straight and positioned us to make an even bigger contribution in the future. And I think the early signs are that our industry will come out stronger than ever at the other side. At least I hope so. I hope so too. Well, it's been fantastic talking to you today, Larry, um, and thank you so much for speaking with us. And we hope to speak to you again soon. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much. I hope we can all stay healthy and well 
as we look to the future. <laughs> me too, me too. Thanks, Larry. Bye. Thank you.